scenes, Galen Rupp, back to back Olympic trial winner. In the marathon trials, there are hundreds of faces you won't remember. More than double the men's field. Runners who put in the miles of training with full time jobs. What's up? I am, yeah. Runners who had the goal of just getting to the start line. It's the morning of the Olympic trials. How are we feeling? And have nothing to lose when they get there. What's going on today? Uh, I think we're running a race or something. I'm not totally sure. <laughs> you get a marathon. You get a marathon. You get a marathon. Look in your chairs. You all get marathon. These are the good boys from Denver. It's game time. They are the underdogs. Got one job. Who run for every dog. Run fast. Second job is later. Pet dogs. The runners are named after the dogs of Washington Park, where they spent early mornings before work and late nights after training. You might not have spotted them in this crowd, but all five were there. They battled high winds and hills to show everyone what the 220 fastest male marathoners in the country looked like. This was Kyle King's hardest race. He was the fastest good boy in 47th place. No petting dogs for Garrett Lee, but he still handed out high fives and came in 67th. Chris Boyle was 109th and said he learned what Dante meant in the last four miles. Dave Marks, well, he had stomach issues and had to drop behind, but he still came in 137th. Charles Remillard was tempted to quit, but couldn't stop knowing his teammates were ahead. He came in 141st. How'd it go, Garrett? It went. I mean, it was awesome. Are you hurt? They gave this race everything they had. Those are some pretty good boys. Katie Eastman, Nine News. About that, they all finished. One of the top three runners in the men's race lives in Boulder and trains with the Boulder Track Club. Jake Riley came in second on Sunday. He will race in Tokyo on the very last day of the Olympics, August 9th.